Ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling this transmission. If we wish to make it louder, we will bring up the volume. If we wish to make it softer, we will tune it to a whisper. We control the horizontal, and we control the vertical. For the next few minutes, sit quietly, and we will control all that you see and hear. We are about to open your mind to the Arizal, the Ari Hakadosh. Worshipping Idols When a person worships idols, he rejects all the holiness in the world. This is why idolatry is called excrement. The main purpose of a person eating food is to separate and sort good from bad, as his soul sticks to the holy part of the food and the bad part is evacuated. This is why the mana was absorbed entirely inside the body without any waste. This is why our sages said, an ignoramus is forbidden to eat meat because he does not know how to separate the good from the bad. However, the pious and the Torah scholars, when blessing before and after eating, separate the holy from the unholy. Tikkun, rectification of inanimate objects, vegetation, animals, and humans. When the seven kings fell, some fell to become inanimate objects, such as gold, silver, copper, all of which contain holy sparks. Some also fell to become vegetation, which is why there are different types of trees. They also fell into the seventy nations. Their control is based on the fact that the serpent contaminated Chava. Regarding Egypt, which is the abomination of the land where many sparks were mixed, explaining why Israel and the Divine Presence, the Shkina, were exiled to Egypt in order to redeem the holy sparks. Hashem Himself entered Egypt and redeemed everything, including that which angels could not remove. The Ban Against Returning to Mitzrayim, Egypt Therefore the people of Israel were commanded never to see them again, because all the holy sparks were redeemed when Israel left Mitzrayim. So there was no need for Israel to return after they left so overtly. As it says, all the armies of Hashem left Egypt. However, regarding Babylon, Israel came out of there in small groups, and there are still holy sparks there. And therefore our sages say, anyone who leaves Babylon and goes to the land of Israel violates a Torah prohibition of, to Babylon they shall be brought and remain there. There is a heavenly decree that the seventy nations will oppress Israel in order for Jews to take out the holy sparks spread in each nation. Our sages explain that even if a single Jew is captured in a certain nation, it is as if all Jews were captured there, because it is enough for a single Jew to perform rectification to Kuhn. Therefore, Israel was spread to all four corners of the world. Yosef's brothers. They conspired against him to slay him. Yosef's brothers thought that he was the bad part left over from Avraham and Yitzhak, who fathered Ishmael and Esau, and they believed that Yosef was the bad part of Yaakov. He also spoke against them, saying that they ate a limb while the animal was still alive, and that they looked at the girls of the land, and also that they despised the sons of the maidservants and called them slaves. The ten martyrs were a reincarnation of the ten sons of Yaakov. Reuben said, cast him into the pit, and he refused to kill Yosef. He was nevertheless punished and was reincarnated as Rabbi Eleazar the Great, but he was not killed because he protected Yosef. This is why the verse says, May Reuben live and not die. Anywhere in the Torah where it says, He shall die a death, it refers to this world and the world to come. The first time when he dies, and the second time when he is reincarnated and dies again a gruesome death and does not live in the world to come. However, Reuben, who had good intentions, was not liable for death like the rest of the brothers. But because he said, let us throw him in the pit, he deserved death, but not the same as the rest. The Reincarnation of the Brothers Rabbi Eleazar was blessed by his colleagues, and he was the leader of Israel. Reuven was also blessed by his brothers, saying that he did not sin with Bilah. Judah reincarnated as Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel, who was the leader of Judah. Yosef reincarnated as Rabbi Yishmael and Elisha Kohen Gadol, the high priest. The reason that he was called Rabbi Eleazar the Great is that he was like Reuven, who was the firstborn. Naphtali was reincarnated as Rabbi Kuspit, the translator. 
Zubalon, reincarnated as Rabbi Yehuda ben Baba. Yaakov was a reincarnation of Adam, and she conceived again and bore a son. Yaakov was similar to Adam because he came to rectify Adam's sin. Avraham rectified idolatry. Itzak rectified bloodshed, and Yaakov rectified promiscuity. He was nevertheless afraid of Esau because he had red hair and committed bloodshed, and due to him, all mankind must die before the coming of Mashiach. The 600,000 Jewish souls were included within Adam. As it says in the verse, He who sheds man's blood by man shall his blood be shed. It refers to the ancient snake that will be killed on the arrival of the Mashiach. Yaakov was afraid that Esau would kill him and was also afraid to kill Esau. Yaakov attempts to reveal details of the coming of the Mashiach. Had Yaakov killed Esau, the Mashiach would not have come from his seed, but Judah, and there would not have been any exile. When Yaakov died, he wanted to reveal the time of the coming of the Mashiach, but it was hidden from him because it was not the right time for it to be revealed. Only after Rabbi Akiva, who was a spark of the Mashiach, came to this world could it be revealed. Therefore Rabbi Akiva was killed with the ten martyrs, but only the part that the snake had control of was killed, while the spiritual part died by itself. And Eliyahu Anavi took care of the body. Rabbi Akiva and Ben Kuziba The letters of the name Akiva are the same in Hebrew as those of Yaakov, hinting that he was a spark of the Mashiach. Our sages said that Rabbi Akiva was the weapon carrier of Ben Kuziba. We have to understand who Ben Kuziba was. He was strong to the extent he would push back the stones that the Romans threw at him. Because he was like Judah and he was in Lod, he and Rabbi Akiva were one. Therefore, his name was Kuziba, similar to the verse, and it was in Kuzib where he was born. The Arrival of the Mashiach For he, Judah, thought lest perhaps he die as his brothers. In every generation there is a spark of the Mashiach. If the generation deserves redemption, Otherwise he dies or is killed sanctifying Hashem's name, as happened with Rabbi Akiva, with Ben Kuziba. The Mashiach must come in every generation to redeem Israel, if they are eligible, or to teach Torah when the generation walks in darkness. Therefore Yudah said, perhaps he would die, and you should not marry him until he grows up. The Sin of Yosef With the ten drops of semen that came out from Yosef, who resembled an ox, and his match, a cow, and Potiphar's wife came to test him. Jeroboam, who was from Yosef's seed, was controlled by the Satan. And he made two golden calves, and Hashem held him by his garment and said, Return, my son, and you, King David, and I will go around Ganadin. So both of them will do their rectification. A Woman's Fear When a woman marries, she worries that perhaps she would not have children, and her husband would then take another woman. The verse therefore promises her, Here is your seed, if not for you, for your husband. She is also afraid that her husband would touch her while she is nida, a sin that exposes her to the risk of the punishment of karet. She is also afraid that her husband might not be her genuine match, and thus would divorce him. This is why the verse says, Hashem accommodates singles in one house, because if he was not her genuine match, they would never connect, just as earthenware does not mix with metal. Yaakov's years. And Yaakov lived in Egypt seventeen years. For Yaakov, his years were like days, because a pious person does tshuva every day, fearing that he would die on the morrow. But the wicked, their years are like days, because they do not remember the day of death and die suddenly. The Reincarnation of the Ten Brothers The ten martyrs were the ten drops of semen from Yosef, the Satan was demanding justice for 800 years for the selling of Yosef. Therefore, he insisted on justice for the brother's sin, and they had to pay for the sale, as well as for causing Yosef to relax drops of sperm. So the souls of the ten brothers entered inside the ten martyrs. This is similar to a stain on a silk garment, which requires intense laundry, even for a small drop, in order for the king to wear it. Similarly, the pious, when they become defiled, they require cleaning. Even angels were harmed by the sin of Adam Rishon. You already know that Yosef was the reincarnation of Adam. When Adam was ordered, from all the trees of the garden you shall eat, including the tree of life. And he also ate from the tree of good and evil, which originated from the Satan. 
and his wife, and they brought death to the world. Even the inanimate, vegetation, living creatures, and angels were damaged. Some angels died in the river of Dinur, such as the giants who sinned and died in the land. The original plan was that only Israel would be included in Adam without the angel of the seventy nations. Adam should have stayed in paradise, Ganathan, as will happen in the time to come. But seventy nations emerged, therefore they must die like Adam. The only ones who did not die were Enoch and Elijah the prophet, Eliyahu Anavi, who took the good part of Adam. Ten generations between Adam and Noach. Adam was trying to reverse his circumcision since he sinned and mixed the good with the bad. These pearls were lost in the dust until twenty generations later, when Avraham found them. As it says in the verse, ten times two, in a spoon of Kodesh, holiness. These are the ten generations from Adam to Noach, the ten generations from Noach to Avraham, who was circumcised. Why was Avraham thrown into the furnace? Avraham rectified Adam's sin of idolatry, therefore he was burnt. This hints that all those who are burnt are reincarnated. Because they worshipped idols or thought about idolatry, as it says in the verse, he shall die and be put to death twice for his sin. Itzak rectified the bloodshed of Adam's sin, and also that of Chavel, who looked at the Shekinah, the Divine Presence. Therefore he was sacrificed on the altar at thirty-seven years old, and due to Chavel's sin, Itzak's eyes became blind when he was old. Yaakov rectified the incident of adultery. As it says in the Mishnah, fifteen women accept their wives from Yibum, a Levirite marriage. Adam Rishon gave life to bad spirits and demons. This was the reason the evil forces joined Adam and Eli, L-I-T-H, the Satan's wife. This union gave birth to evil spirits and demons, which are souls of the nations and the wicked. This was the source for the contamination the Satan put in Chava, from which Chain was born, and the souls of the Erev Rav, the mixed multitude, that came during the 130 years that Adam was separated from Chava. This is what Balaam said, For there is no enchantment in Yaakov, nor is there any divination in Israel. Balak's skills in the realm of magic were greater than Balaam's. Balak had the power of the snake from Laban, his father. Rachel and Leah were born from these two drops of sperm from Laban. Therefore Yaakov, who had the beauty of Adam Rishon, rectified Rachel and Leah. As it says in the verse, And Yaakov escaped from Laban's field, and he worked for a woman. Yaakov rectified adultery. Yaakov rectified adultery, and now everything became good. As it says that Yaakov stood in front of Paro, who asked him, How old are you? He replied, The days of the years of my sojourning are 130 years which are the same 130 years of Adam's sin. This was in order to retrieve these bad spirits, which were called bad, after he corrected them. Those who remained were only good. It required 17 years to tell us that the bad left and only good remained. Israel dwelled in the land of Goshen and were fruitful and multiplied. 30,000 were born while Yaakov was alive and 30,000 after Yaakov's passing. Why the Patriarchs were buried in Hebron. The verse says, And Israel dwelled in the land. It was to hint to the period of Joshua, Joshua, who took the land of Goshen. And the verse says, You should carry me out of Mitzrayim and bury me in their burying place, which is Hebron, because the patriarchs were similar to Adam, and each of them rectified Adam. They subsequently reunited and were therefore all buried together in the cave of Machpelah. A new king arose over Mitzrayim. Now there rose up a new king over Mitzrayim. It refers to the Satan, who was an old foolish king who dominates a person inside his mother's womb. He did not know Yosef, and he told his nation. This refers to the evil forces. The nation of Israel who are the good forces and have grown more than us. He therefore built storage cities for Paro, who was the evil inclination. Pithom refers to the mouth, which in Hebrew is Peh. In the mouth lies all desires to eat and drink, more and more food and drink. As long as the body grows, the good inclination enters further. The Egyptian Exodus and the Ten Plagues The Exodus from Egypt and the Ten Plagues were both similar to childbirth. The first plague was blood, because the womb does not open without a drop of blood coming out. 
without the blood coming out first. The baby would choke and drown in blood, which is the evil forces. The second plague, frogs, are the 70 voices that the woman screams while in labor, corresponding to the 70 letters in Tehillim, Psalms chapter 20. The plague of darkness. It is known that during the first three months, the embryo lies in the lower part of the womb, suffering in darkness. The plague of the death of the firstborn reflects the surrender of the evil forces which would have killed the embryo, and the first came out ruddy, which resembles the Satan. This is similar to what happened during the plague of the firstborn, that all firstborn died, besides Paro, who was the leading firstborn, and remained alive, because this is the purpose of Hashem, to leave the evil inclination in order to test the person. The evil inclination dominates the newborn. Therefore, he said, and the first came ruddy, because the evil inclination is the first to occupy the baby as soon as he emerges from his mother's womb. The good inclination only comes at 13 years of age, the bar mitzvah. The Twelve Zodiacs It is known that the Twelve Zodiac signs divide up into four basic elements of creation. The lamb corresponds to fire, the scorpion to water, because the scorpion kills the person due to his cold temper. Each of the seven zodiacs contains two signs, the sun and the moon. Mars is controlled by two signs, the lamb and the scorpion. They would therefore slaughter a lamb with their hand, while the sign of the zodiac prevailed against these two signs. There are two different purgatories, one of fire against the lamb to punish those who violate Torah commandments and warm up for sin, and one of snow against the scorpion to punish those who cool themselves and violate Torah commandments by abstaining from doing mitzvot. Our sages said that the wicked, even while in Gehenom, steal snow in order to cool off when placed in the purgatory of fire. The Golden Calf The issue of the Golden Calf must be examined through the intention of the Arab Rav, the mixed multitude. I have informed you regarding the verse, A new king emerged over Egypt, about the issue of Balaam and that of the Arab Rav, and about the bad part of Moshe, whose soul originated from the knowledge itself but was still mixed with holy sparks. Moshe therefore decided to include the Erev Rav within the nation of Israel. As it says about Balaam, and there did not arise again a prophet in Israel, like Moshe. However, with the nations there did arise such a prophet, and Balaam was at the same level as Moshe. I have also told you about the verse, and Rachel stole the images that were her father's, because Laban was reincarnated in Balaam, as Beor was Laban's son. The entire family was from a single source, from Moshe's soul, and the members were Laban, Beor, Balaam, his sons Jonas and Yombros. They all were therefore magicians and sorcerers, the like of which did not exist anywhere else in the world. I have told you in my book, Gate of Reincarnation, that souls are reincarnated in four different ways, in animate, vegetation, living creatures, and humans. Each one has a specific time frame during which it could ascend to a higher level. Those who are reincarnated as vegetation do so during the four months of Nisan, Ilyar, Iyar, Sivan, and Tammuz, and they then ascend to be reincarnated as living animals. Beor, Balaam's father, was reincarnated as vegetation and still did not reach the reincarnation level of animals because he was so corrupt. Therefore, Jonas and Yombros, his grandsons, were the heads of the Erev Rav, and they all wanted him to be rectified so that they too could rise, after they will realize in their witchcraft that they have no salvation, other than by making Israel sin, they all will ascend to the animal level. They made the golden calf using witchcraft, using the holy name, which was used to raise Yosef's tomb from the river Nile. As a result, an ox of gold came out, which contained the holy spirit and Beor, Balaam's father, whose soul ascended from vegetation to living animal and they accepted him as their leader, since he knew the future, by making Israel sin. The soul of the wicked Beor that was in that ox was screaming, These are your gods, Israel. And they fed him grass, like any other ox, because he was reincarnated as vegetation in order for him to ascend to a higher level of animal. And they did all this using witchcraft.